Welcome to Kingdom Minded. It's Shane Blackledge. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and like and share this video. I want to get going today um, about Stephen Furtick's son, Elijah Furtick, 16 years old, four days ago, dropped a rap song. He, he has a Do the Dash is his name. And uh, the song is called No Hook. And this was endorsed by his mom and his grandmother, um, you know, when they posted it, the mom said, I'm proud of you. Um, and grandma put a bunch of hearts behind it. Um, and I'm not sure what the deal is, because I don't know if they caught on to some of the, the language and the words that he used to put it together. Like the beats, awesome. It sounds great. It's really, uh, popular in the hip-hop culture now to have music sound this way but it's the lyrics that concern me for a 16 year old um and we're gonna go ahead and get started and we'll get right into this so i'm gonna go ahead and play a clip here and we'll get going okay all right so first of all let's just get started right into this thing uh he says some stuff here man that I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show. He goes, I got the drip rich a million. I'm only 16, but I make up a billy. My pants are from Ricky. My bro keeps a blicky. He's talking about a blicky, which is a gun. He's talking about designer clothes. My pants are from Ricky. And he's talking about I got drip. And I don't even remember but uh i think like 15 times he talked about drip ice designer in a two-minute song referencing riches and jewelry and diamonds and bling over 15 times which is ridiculous but he's talking about rocking with a gun bro you're 16 years old you're a pastor's kid what are you doing with the gun at 16 years old what kind of message are you sending out to the whole entire world by putting out a, a song that talks about rocking a blicky? Like that just sends a message for every other 15, 16 year old kid that they need to be rocking a gun as well. This is really bad. This is bad for our Christian culture to see that you're boasting in this rich and glory stuff. So let's just keep going. Whoa, there's a lot there, but he referenced uh, the bling. He referenced all that kind of stuff. But here's what he said. Uh, <laughs> she calling my phone, but I'm busy going around the block. I'm getting dizzy liquor one time. Now she missed me. So this is a sexual reference for a 16 year old having sex. And this is just ridiculous. Like, this is not the message of Christ. This is not reflecting who we are as Christians. And it's just a really bad look, again, for Christians. He also said, don't know what I want. I'm too picky. I keep a baddie like Demi. My neck is frosty like it's Wendy's. Just walked in the party. They're sipping on Henny. You're 16 years old. And you're talking about sex, you're talking about drinking Hennessy, and now you're talking about a blicky toting guns. It's just really, really not a good album. Uh, not a good song. Not a good song at all. I'm very concerned about this. Let's keep going. But I ain't worried about that. I ain't got time to teach 
check. Dripping like Lucas a bank. I'm breaking the bank. I drip like a saint. I'm at the top of the rank. You know I'm running the tank. I feel like Gucci got ice on my neck. I whip a Corvette. My diamonds so wet. They bring the whip tech. I have to go flex. My dog's clear. You can see the baguette. Just give me a... My diamonds is clear. You can see the bouquet. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're lighting the block like a cigarette. And he goes like this. All right. What are you doing? Now you're referencing violence. I'm lighting your block like a cigarette. And I just, there's so much wrong with this. For one, you don't even live in the hood. What are you, what block are you lighting up? You live in a multi-million dollar mansion and your wealth was accumulated from your dad being a pastor through preaching and book sales and whatnot. And this is just crazy that you're even saying this stuff. This is just not a good look. A 16 year old talking about ice and designers and now you're lighting up a block like a cigarette. And you actually are like, hello, what kind of message does this give to the Christian believer? That it's okay to tote guns, sip on Henny, have sex with girls underage? This is terrible. All right, let's keep going. Switches up the beat here. Walking inside the bank and they turn their heads like, yes, it's me again. Again, another reference in boasting about being rich. Not one word in this song glorifies God. Not one word at all. And this is concerning. This is concerning because it's not okay to boast about guns, sex, not being married. It's not okay to boast about drinking underage. It's not okay to boast about lighting up the block in violent terms and references being made to using a gun. Like, this is not okay. This is sending a horrible message to our youth. This is exactly what's wrong with the culture today. It'd be different if it's coming from somebody that their parent wasn't a mega church pastor that has a huge platform, and millions of followers, and millions of people. Uh, know who Stephen Furtick is. It sends the wrong message. So that's why I wanted to get on here and talk about today was that this came across and this is so wrong uh, to preach like this because to, to come out with a song like this, not preach, but come out with a song like this because of the message that it sends. And then, you know, people might address this like, oh, it's okay. It's just a song. He's only 16, but it's really not okay to, to create music like this. And it just sends a really bad message. And I really think that this song should have never even made it to the internet. I know that there's millions of other songs out there, uh, way worse than this one. But I wanted to talk about it uh, just because this was like... A, shocking to me you know like i love elevation worship and uh, the music that they they sing and and all that stuff and you know i've heard uh sermons from stephen furtick that i enjoyed that i felt um edified by hearing um 
him preach. Um, I have some issues with uh, some of the stuff he's preached over the years, and I'm not here to have a, you know, to criticize him and what he does. Uh, I will never get on here and criticize uh, Christian pastors and, and leaders because uh, that's not what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to love one another, pray for one another, encourage one another, um, and correction if, if needed, but I'm not going to use, uh, YouTube to do that. Um, I won't be one to get on here and make videos of who's false teaching and this and that or the other. Um, that's just not, that's just not what this is about. I'm just bringing awareness, um, to, the culture that we live in, in America, it's kind of scary to see all the things that are all messed up in this world, how we're glorifying riches, we're glorifying um, underage sex, we're glorifying guns and violence, and we're glorifying um, the trend of uh, changing your gender now. Um, and our teens are gravitating towards the LGBTQ movement because it's trending now. Um, and that's concerning too, because it's really, really, really affecting our culture. And it's really confusing our younger generation and understanding who they are in Christ in understanding who God created them to be. And we have to fall back on the word of God. We have to fall back on what is in the Bible and not what man says, not what culture says, not what our country says, but we have to go fall back on what the Bible says. And so I do have a verse to kind of tie all of this in. And I just want to share this verse with you um, in light of what I seen with this song called No Hook by a 16 year old. Uh, it's 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 17. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. <sighs> Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant. And honestly, the whole video was prideful in arrogance. 15 at least references, referencing ice in your chains, in your designer clothes, in your guns. And it's just a bad message. Be careful what you put into your ears and what you allow your eyes to see because this kind of stuff right here is not good. Take care. Have a good day.